Our next step in stoichiometry, we're going to add one thing to it, grams. We're now going to go from grams of one compound to moles of a second compound. Uh, let's say in this situation that we're given 30 grams of carbon monoxide and we want to know how many moles of carbon dioxide will be produced. First thing that hits me is I have information about one compound, but I want the answer for another compound. That means we're going to have to walk the bridge, use that molar ratio stoichiometry to go from one compound to another one. Again, keyword, I need the molar ratio, which means, and I'll say this a thousand times, you've got to bring the grams to moles. Bring it to moles. So let's write down what we're given. We have 30 grams of carbon monoxide. I wanna walk this bridge, but in order to do it, I use molar ratios. So I bring this to moles. We're going to get rid of the grams of carbon monoxide um, by using the molar mass to go to moles of carbon monoxide. So doing the molar mass, um, oxygen 16, carbon is 12.01, we get 28.01 grams for every one mole of carbon monoxide. Notice grams of carbon monoxide cancels. If I stopped right here, I'd have moles of carbon monoxide. Well, now we want to walk from one compound to another one since I've got moles of CO. I wanna get rid of the moles of CO. So moles of carbon monoxide, um, that will cancel and I want moles of carbon dioxide. Now we just look at those molar coefficients and attach them. One mole of carbon monoxide is going to produce three moles of carbon dioxide. Check it out, moles of CO cancel. And we will be left with moles of CO2. And that's what I wanted. Um, look at how you put this in your calculator. 30 divided by 28.01 times three. And that answer is, now we have three sig figs right here, uh, is 3.8. 2.1 moles of CO2. So let's go back. We have quite a few numbers on here. Here's what this means. If you have 30 grams of CO, and we assume plenty of the iron 3 oxide, you have 30 grams of CO, when this reacts, it's going to produce 3.21 moles of CO2. Uh, so remember, if you have grams, you have to bring it to moles so that you can use that molar ratio, the bridge to walk from one compound to another one. Nice work.